Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Sparrow with the Tree and welcome back to an episode of our Pokemon Y Let's Play. And my goodness, it's been ages since I last played this game. But uh, here we are back again. And I've actually got some explaining to do while we do some normal battles. Uh, it's actually been like two years since I last recorded. And before that, I recorded literally one episode. And before that, it was like six to seven months. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, now it's been a very long time, and I've actually had something pretty annoying happen to me uh, in that meantime, and that is that we lost our save file. So I unfortunately had to replay through the entire game again, which was uh, not not the most fun, I can tell you that much. Uh, let's just mega evolve here and strength this uh, this swallowed, because we don't really have anything for us to kill the swallow easy with, I think. Right, let's see our Mega in action. It's been ages since I've seen this team in action. But I'm excited to jump back into it because, I mean, we're cutting close to the end of the game. I mean, stockpiling, really. It's going to raise its defenses, which is quite annoying. Uh, I'm going to power up punch just once. And he used spit up, that's fine. And there down go his defenses again pretty easy now we can kill him off for the strength because we're plus one and his defenses are back to zero or just neutral which is an easy finish off finishing off for us but yeah I'm happy to jump back into Pokemon Y uh, we're nearing the end of the game I mean we're right uh, at the like penultimate pen ultimate uh, like ending of the the bases that we have here anyways let's hit this teleporter I'm pretty sure Yes, because we have one of the first scientists we have here. Haha, ha, ha. why if it isn't that fascinating little trainer from the Kalos power plant, so we meet again just as I said we would. Alright, so this is the lady we fought at the power plant. Aliana. She's got the mighty Anna. Alright, so yeah, like I said, I had to replay through the entire game, so things might be a bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, uh, our experience might be different on some Pokemon, uh, some different natures, like, you know, s things might have changed t here and there. But I think, for the most part, we're the same. Like, I'm pretty sure we are uh, the same. Uh, everything else, like our level-wise and shit, I made, I made sure. I didn't grab everything, though. Like, I didn't grab all the items that I grabbed in the actual storyline. Uh, like previously, uh, I just I just let it be. I just uh, went by pretty quickly because I wanted to get this out of the way, replaying through the game. Because, I mean, I do enjoy playing Pokemon, but replaying through an entire game just because I lost the save file is quite frustrating. Uh, so yeah, anyways, Goku level 50, that's awesome. And as you guys can see, I did, uh, I did check what I was doing previously, and I did say that I was going to put the experience share back on. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. I put the experience here back on. Anyways, we're plus two. Uh, let's see what a strength is. A plus two strength against the Jodigon. Okay, decent damage. We're tanking it. And let's strength again to finish off the Jodigon. And that's the first scientist down, I'm pretty sure. Or the first admin, rather. Team Flare, Ariana down, Aliana down. I'll get an easy money. I don't have the key, but I let you pass. But which war panel could it be? Which one could it be? Right, first off, um, yeah, I remember to bring some potions. Luckily, let's put Goku uh, back to full health here, and then switch. Switch to Heliolisk because he's not level 50 yet, and I'm pretty sure we need to take the green teleporter. Yes, I think so. And we see another door there, but we can't hit that one yet. Let's take care of this uh, tiny little grunt. Like I said, we're in today's episode, we're gonna clear this entire lap, should be pretty, pretty easy to do. And uh, yeah, we're gonna clear this lap, get Team Flare out of the way because we just figured out that Lysander, Lysander is working for uh, for Team Flare all along. He's the big boss. 
we fought him for the first time in the last episode as well. So yeah, it's uh, it's coming to a closure, like the the evil villain storyline, you know, in, the, in every Pokemon game. A light part. We're gonna keep battling because we're just gonna thunderbolt this thing. Maybe take it out and one it. We did take it out and one it. That's awesome. Very good. And that's the grunt down. Very easy. Also, uh, you guys can notice I didn't buy the <laughs> or I didn't get our outfit changed like I did in the the actual run through. Hey, look who we have here. No sign of him e either. You, have you seen anything? We're looking for a really tall guy. And I mean tall, if you scratched out a survivor and stood it up, he'd be that tall. We received some intelligence that Team Flair is also trying to find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flair is still a mystery, but... Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. Take this with you, Jason. Hey, we got some revives. Nice, always nice to get some free medicines. Oh wait, we met some time ago, but I didn't get your name then. I never heard your name before, not once. Alright then. Uh, anyway, we came here at a certain professor's request to stop Team Flares. I assume your goal is the same, don't do anything reckless, okay? Well, alright then. We just, uh, yeah, encountered them a lot. Oh. We're not meant to go that way. Hey, now we can enter this door. Make down, take a nap. Oh, we get taunt. Alright. Did not expect to get a TM here. I kind of forgot about that. We found another revive. Alright, we're getting some free revives. Alright, so this was just a pointless room, to be honest. But we can go to the right here. And battle some more grunts. That don't take much time. So it's nice. It's some small experience, for sure, which we can use, because we are uh, slightly over-leveled, but I've looked, at, I've looked ahead at some fights that we need to do, and we're kind of... We could use the experience, for sure, uh, in, the, in the next couple routes and next couple uh, objectives we need to do, basically. Dragal's level 51 already. Nice. Uh, Mighty Yana... Oh yeah, I completely missed something. I uh, I didn't fix the nicknames yet for uh, Heliolisk and, uh, and some other Pokemon. I need to do that. I'll do that in between episodes, don't you worry. I guess for now we'll just leave it like that. It's Alizard, Corrosive. Yeah, Alizard and Corrosive, yeah, yeah. I, I just need to uh, change those names again. I, I thought so. I was like, wait, wait a second. It's not. It's not Dragalch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. I. I didn't give a nickname. You know. I'm pretty sure I did give a nickname. I mean. Anyways, we got a Houndoom, which we can easily surf. And knock it out in one hit. These grunts are so far no trouble whatsoever. A Toxicroak. I'm just staying. I know it's a fighting type, but I think Thunderbolt should do it. Ah, oh, it sucker punches me, that's fine. Thunderbolt indeed does do the trick. Awesome. Alright, Flora level 51, alright. Easy battle so far, and some easy money, which is good. Um, let's see if it's to the right that we need to go. It looks like we did. Awesome. Alright, so we have another one. Grunt. With two Pokemon. Alright. And Manectric. Alright, now this is not the best lead for us now. We're definitely gonna have to switch out here. Make ourselves look a bit easier. Um, let's just go to Goku.
I should probably see who has the lucky egg and change some items around maybe. I mean, that's Mega and just Aura Sphere. I think an Aura Sphere should do the trick here. It does. Awesome. Alright, so far so good. Level 51 Goku. Let's go. Heal Pulse. Uh, not really something I'm interested in. So not gonna learn that. Tempest level 51, look at that. Black Star level 52. Double team. <laughs> at level 52 you learn double team. Yeah, yeah man, that's that's a big move you have right there. <laughs> Anyways, let's just stay in against this crafty. And let's just hit him with an aura sphere. Alright. Easy Team Flare battle. Terrific. That's what we like to see. Heliolisk now 51 as well. Because or else we're going to keep on using the same Pokemon with the experience share on. And that is not something I like to do. So let's see here. Item. Uh, move. Okay, there we go. actually hit did have the lucky egg. Uh, let's put that to Heliolisk because uh, let's get Heliolisk to like 53, 54-ish and then switch around. Hey look at that. Huh 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 huh? I've seen this kid somewhere before so who is he? I have no idea but obviously he's not a team flair. Let's get him yeah? Yep that sounds good to me then I'll get in the first blow. Right team flair Celosia. With a Manectric. Alright, terrific. Same problem that we <laughs> we had before, our Helios Heliolisk lead is not the best. Actually let's just let's just see how much the surf does. Does over half, you know, I'm happy with that. He flamethrowers me. Surf should kill pretty easily. Alright. And then let's see what the next Pokemon is. A Drapion. Well, we can stay in against that. And let's uh, Thunderbolt. Hacky Pressure, that's completely fine. Because we outspeed and kill anyway. Right, what was the point in that Drapion? Not, not the biggest. Not the biggest play you made there. Alright, that's Solosia down. Very easy. Oh, what a brute. Bryony, alright. With a Lipart lead. Should be pretty easy to one shot with a Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure. So, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. He's gonna fake out me, that's fine. Actually, there's a decent amount of damage. You know what? I'm actually gonna Parabolic Charge. Get some health back. But, the Sucker Punch actually kills us, alright. Did not expect a Sucker Punch to kill me there. I, was, I knew a Sucker Punch was coming my way, but I didn't expect it to actually straight kill me. But, I guess that's fine. We'll just Mega Evolve and we'll Power Up Punch this thing. Sucker Punch does nothing, and then we Power Up Punch. Easy one shot. Dragalsh level 52. And a Bisharp, well, this should be very easy. Pretty sure an Aura Sphere will just kill him. Pretty weak on the special side. Yep, and it's quad. I mean, quad weak effectiveness is just an, usually an easy Yoko. Alright, Bryony has been defeated as all. Well. Terrific. Some more money. 
What is this? Who could have thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon were utterly in sync in that battle, and I know why. You're here Francis, aren't you? I suppose, but rather mercy. I will tell you what I know at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that. All will need to use it. Are you following me? We'll need energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the device. Yes, it's the stones on Route 10 that will steal that energy for us and power the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that lie in Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. When the ultimate weapon was used to end that horrible war over 3000 years ago, it stole the lives of all those Pokemon. Their lives were the price of peace then. And if we want to make our own wishes come true that day, we, are, we in Team Flair also have to sacrifice something precious. Alright, well damn. Getting some extra story beats in today's episode. Anyways, let's use them revives that we got to get Eos back. And uh, actually, we have some super potions that I can just use to get the remainder of XP back on Lucario and on Alizard. I'll call him already because I need to get used to its name again. Don't even know why I never bothered to uh, to change the name. Guess I just forgot. Um, I'm pretty sure we need to go in here. Oh, we don't. This is just to get an item. Okay. <laughs> the Hyper Potion. And then we need to make a decision, left or right. Which is it gonna be? I think it's left. Looks like it wasn't. <laughs> to the right, it is. I think we have two more grunts remaining and then the door. So yeah, we're almost through with this area and a gold bat. Nice, 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 nice. Gold bat should be an easy kill. Just an easy thunderbolt right here. Yep, just like that. Right, that's that grunt already down. Alizard level 52. Oh no. Yeah man, Team Flair getting their ass whooped pretty easily. Pretty easily. Let's hit this teleporter. And then we have this time this final Team Flare member to battle. A Toxic Rogue. Now I know we should be able to one shot this. Yeah, it's level 44 especially then. Very easy. One shot. Goku level 52. Uh, a light part. Um, let's actually just stay in. I mean. Let's stay in. He's probably gonna fake me out. Or never mind. You stomped. Oh no. Well, we outspeed you anyway. Let's just surf. And down goes the light part. Alright, that's another Team Flare battle down. Very easy. And I think we have one more battle ahead of us here, which is if we enter that door. Which, of course, is the last admin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're that kid from the Frost Cavern on your lonesome this time? Well, yes. Ooh, that's cold. Colder than that cavern. Your Pokémon don't even count for anything. We gather data about all the trainers in the region through the Holocaust, so we know all about you guys. And you know how the Mega Ring is used to awaken the Pokémon's power, right? Just, just like how the ultimate weapon can make max out the Pokémon's power. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like you and me are practically after the same thing, yeah? All right, we've got Mabel, who leads with a Houndoom. It's a good thing our Alizard here has a big, nice counter for that Houndoom, which is a Surf. And that's an easy one-shot. Flora level 52, that's what we like to see. Weavile, uh, we can stay in against the Weavile. It's got pressure, which is fine. This thing's definitely faster than me. It's not. I guess that's crazy. Ooh, low sweep. Well, 
our speed fell now though. Um, I'm actually gonna make the smart decision to actually switch out. It's gonna ice shard me. That's neutral, that should be fine. And uh, we'll just flame charge. And that should be it. For Mabel. Alright, level 52 Tempest. That's amazing. Eulisk level 53, that's good as well. Blackstar level 53. Oh, you are strong. You and your Pokemon are most certainly not ordinary. Yeah, we are not. We are a pretty stacked ass team. I would say that pretty too. Ding, ding, ding. Yup, you did it. Do the victor go the sp goes the spoils? Here, an elevator key for you. Hey, we got the elevator key. The power of the legendary Pokemon, the power to steal life from all around it. It's a mysterious ability that even scientists like us haven't been able to really decode. What do you think will happen to the world if you fuel the ultimate weapon with something like that? Alright. So, now that we got the elevator key. Um, what is the way out of here again? Think like this, yeah. Let's go to B B2, because that's the I mean the only level we can go to. Makes sense. Listen, one who will face Lysander. Lysander. Whatever. <laughs> A terrible long time ago. There was a man and a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much, his rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. The man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. That the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man.
get the key back. It should not be used, everything will vanish again. Do you want to know an ending pain like I have? That is AZ. He has the same name as a king that lived 3000 years ago, and for some unknown reason he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time, follow me to my chambers. Now we go to B3. So the Pokeballs we received and the Pokeball we've gathered are where they need to be and, and add, add it all up and it means all preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion, I'm counting on you. One push of a button and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have this potential or not. Oh ho! You're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. Come, let us begin. Right, looks like we got a final battle against Team Flare Sarosic. He's gonna lead with a Crobat. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we see a Crobat in the Team Flare's team, I think. I'm just gonna Parabolic Charge this thing, get some health back. It's gonna Cross Poison me, should be fine. Uh, Alright, that did some decent damage, C can't lie. Let's get that tiniest bit of HP back again. Yep, completely worth. We got six back, you know. That's that's worth it. Malamar. Let's keep on battling. A dark psychic type. Let's thunderbolt this thing. I think we should be fine. It's probably a two two eight KO. Yeah, superpower. Oof. Yep. Did not expect. Uh not expect that. And he has Contrary, so yeah, he's, he actually got a boost on attack and defense. Uh, we sh I mean, we should just be fine with Goku, I mean. Let's be honest here. We should just be fine with Goku. Any nice Aura Sphere. Neutral damage. And there we go. Easy. Malamore's down. Use the, we lost our Alizar though. <laughs> Can't believe we died twice in this episode. Oh, you're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. You got some money. Wonderful, amazing, you have tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3000 years ago, the ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible power, we can finally free Kalos of the foolish humans that plague it. Behind me you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Push one now, come on, push one. Alright, so we actually need to push a button. Let's push the blue button. You pressed it, oh, you pressed the blue switch. Winner, winner, congratulations, but I'm still going to activate the ultimate weapon. I know the boss promised that we couldn't if you pushed, if you pushed the correct button, but I refused to let the potential go to waste. I'll just use my remote here, click, click, and the power is on. Come on, look, look at the monitor.
Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn. The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish except for the flare. Look at Geo Sanch. It has bloomed in Geo Sanch's town. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. Add it all up and it equals a victory for our science. Oh god. What have we just witnessed? Some terrible shit just went down. We can... We can for sure say that. So let's go back onto B1. And let's get out of this lap. Let's go to the Pokemon Center for one, for uh, for f the first things first, and heal up our Pokemon just so they're all back with good PPs and shit. Thank you for waiting. No problem. Alright, so now let's fly back to Geosense, because that's where we need to be again. It's been a minute since we've been here. <laughs> also exciting, even though I don't think it's super exciting getting back to here at, the, at this moment, because the place is kind of fucked up. Got some ominous music playing here. But anyways, I think this is a nice place to wrap up today's episode of Pokemon Y. We got through Lysandre, Lys Lys Lysandre. Brother, I don't know what to call him. I'm just going to call him Lysandre or Lysander. Whatever. Just like Lysander. I think from now on, let's just call him Lysander. Uh, Lysander's lab. We've completed it. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be exploring what the hell is going on in this town. And see what's next in store for us in this Pokemon Y adventure. So yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more Pokemon Y.